This is the kind of rant people wake up thinking about when they've been in the city a long time and seen a lot of changes. This is called Go Home. Let all, let all the moneyed fools and whoever is clogging our streets and tourists and tour buses and street fairs and developers, let them leave and go and never look back. Let their final episode fade to black. Let us take our lifestyles back. Let the money go. Let the taxes go. Let the buildings rot. Let the parks go to root or seed or wherever concrete-bound nature goes. Let the buildings slowly crumble and fall. We are squatters on life's edges and know how to cling to the walls and outstay the roaches and stunted rats from Norwegian docks. Let the buildings slowly crumble and fall in the name of all the poets living and dead, and let the rubble dust settle atop new blooms of lilies and piss-fed roses. <laughs> This is called the hot smell of love. I gotta say, it smells like love because I cannot give it a different twist when she puts out her cigarette on your wrist. I hope she's here from heaven above. I'm not really geared for that other love. And when she hugs you, man, you cannot breathe. Sulfur and brimstone like you wouldn't believe. This succubus looks like a nun. A caramel light with a camel light, dashing it out on your hand's soft flesh. I gotta say, it smells like love. <laughs> Red is the color of surrender. Crimson spotted tissue, sweet sticky fingers. I pat dry a pint of deep red strawberries who's bursting, I can already, can already be sensed at the back of my tongue where taste's memory lies. It is fruit I've brought back from Chinatown that I've just washed in a cold, cold spray. Strawberry, strawberries that I will probably never eat and that will shrivel and dry. In the, in the radio background, Satchmo wails. All my senses are keyed to high pitches. Today I've thrown in the towel and I've given up on love. Right. Thinking about immigration, I wrote this, it's called Reluctant Shorelines. He is a child of irregular tides, rivered in the mud of stagnant generations, haunted flotsam of homesick immigrants on a gamble. Their countryside constructs never realize are just memories on his receding shores. He has yard sale sold the American dream because, 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 because fallow lie barren expectations of waiting arms and, and picket fence mythologies, scenarios of primitive art, awkward crayon painted flowers, dusty murals hung on walls to hide the cracks that let the moon come coldly in. He never knows upon which cradled horn the bastard sun will set each day or where his life will flow. Empty rowboats that bolt their moorings on darkly turbulent afternoons feel the weight of him. All around Europe, near all the oldest churches, there are symbols of the green man, the pagan, to remind the Christians what came before. This is called, I am a green man. I am a green man, a pagan, a no man. I dwell in forests older than time, a hermetic hermit, ducking stampeding herds of enlightenment. I, lock, I lurk off the sides of deep berms and observe the neat patterns of houses strung along roads of community and sanity and revel in that I wander aimlessly, follow a spiraling path because there are no others 
and I collide with women who cross my incomplete thoroughfare, and I am civilized for just a moment, just long enough to show them how men with green leaves growing out of their every orifice do not sit quietly in porch pots or window gardens. <laughs> Woke up this morning and I bumped my head on the blues. <laughs> I wrote this, it's called Non-Specific Blues. <clears throat> <laughs> Gonna find me a pointy-toed woman So tired of the flat-footed kind <laughs> Gonna find me a pointy-toed woman So tired of the flat-footed kind Watch her dearie air a moving Kind of swaying make me lose my mind. Gonna watch her big fat thighs are walking. Gonna watch it all from not too far behind. Gonna watch her big fat thighs are walking. Kind of swaying make me lose my mind. Give me a pointy toed walking woman. And never the flat footed kind. Oh yeah. Slap it down on the pavement. Make it wiggle and sway. Come stay in my boudoir till the end of the day. Watch her walk into her night job at McDonald's and once again lose my easy to lose mind. Oh, did a why? This is one and two dollar hamburger lady. Fifty billion soul week. This is one and two dollar hamburger lady. Fifty billion soul. Where you'll meet my B grade A. But your bun's at least a hundred years old. <laughs> Slap it down on the table, make it wiggle and sway. Come stay on my mind, girl, come get on the tray. Come back, come back, come back home to daddy with your happy meal in tow. Come back, come back to daddy with your happy meal in tow. Come back, come back home to your loving daddy with your sweet and greasy dripping hoppy meal in tow. Then just put your grub on Papa's table and watch my dad gum hoopity hoop old man appetite grow. This is called this is called No More Moon. In a blacked out city, the moon atop the Empire State Building is a lamp on a nightstand that a blind man stumbles over on his urgent way to a urinal river called East. Crashing to the pavement on 34th Street, pieces of moon reveal craters the size of Reese's cups. Glowing seas of tranquility beckon, crumbling chunks that blind fingers pick over, lift to lips for a furtive taste, and dismiss as commonplace. But the river is too far, and mile-high moon mountains will shroud him as he relieves himself on Macy's Red Star. <laughs> this is a poem from my uh, first book called Mexico, Dust in My Blood. It's called The Poem That Becomes Polemic. This is New York City poetry, so get used to it. No New York Times style book, Anglo rook all tongues forsook. It's Cantonese and Spanish too, and now and then my goomba tongue, or Yiddish gently sung. A whirl of words swims around in my brain as I'm crowded on the train at language hour, language rush hour, lingo people power, or on the street where I live, I tell the words I see, you see, and here I see Mexicans, hijos de la tierra, the nativist terror, here to claim what's theirs. White man cites his heritage in immigration raves, laced with social niceties, their stilted family trees stretching, stretching. Stretch this, numb self-righteous sons of thieves. Small Jose has stretch marks on his endless family tree, 50 centuries long. Mayflower, Mayflower on the wall. Who's the most entitled of them all? He's the man. The man in the demolition hat. The man remodeling. Remodeling the old landmark building on my block for the Ricos to live in. There will be an interior swimming pool, says the man with the shovel. Men who have chosen to... Uh, but Maria and the children bathe in the sink in their Queens County hovel. 
using the still ununionized backs of the original Americans, men who have chosen to incur labor's wrath, the job fills those illegal ranks. Build the wall, boys, you're all saints and cranks, and work your cares away for half the pay and a longer day. Health care, no way. As I pass through the cl word clouds of Aztec and Nahua and Olmec and Toltec and Zapotec and more, I talk with my new vecinos in the rhythm of their tongues, and we discuss the heady politics of the street. And I am sing-song and only slightly archaic slang-wise, and I tell them before they tell me the secret codes of city places in Vato slang, and I think but I don't need to tell them. Bienvenidos a todos. Time to dance and sing. I'm going to do a, something from my book. It's called, uh, there's a, 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 a myth among Latinos about the crying lady. And in, in some areas it's a, a romantic myth and others it's a spooky one but I I tend to take the romantic one to heart it's called Cancion La Irona praying next to a cross of stone is Irona the woman of tears her man is gone she whispers low prays there won't be many years I've sung her name beneath the moon my words swell to clouds each night but the years have crept into my songs and the dawn is losing its light I'm like a chile verde, your own, a piquant and flavored by your sight. But now the time of the chile is passing and the dawn is losing its light. Although it has cost me my life, your own, love makes me sing of my plight. As the years still creep into my songs and the dawn is losing its light. Oh, wrap me in your reboso, your own, or I will die neath the cold starlight. For the years have crept into my songs, Your Honor, and the dawn is losing its light. Right. A couple of quick ones. I want to read uh, a. Um, I used to write under the name Basho Katz, and I wrote a lot of haiku, as you can tell. And I wrote this one recently, and I'm going to read a variation of it in a second. First, it goes like this Graceful swans rise from Golden Lake. Pink flamingos regard my bowed head. Um, I'll come back to the variation. A quick one. This is called Game Change. Everybody must have read about this a while back. The guy who pretended to be a race that he wasn't in order to get published. <coughs> Do you have a best American poetry? A run of the mill Caucasian, as a poet, pretty pedestrian, decided to be Asian though he wasn't much of a thespian. His scribbling got recognition in journals austere far and wide, and then sentenced to page six perdition, those pubs that we'd all soon deride. So poets, sure, go for the name change. Choose exotic or much oppressed races. Like the Powell and McLean game chains, you'll never fall flat on your faces. <coughs> all right, and then this is the last variation on the, uh, the uh, Basho Katz uh, Graceful Swans thing. Because Basho was a joker and he wouldn't have left it at the way I left it. So this is the uh, revision of that with one word change. Graceful swans rise from Golden Lake. Pink flamingos regard my bald head. 